Hello, hi. Dirk. This is Edgar. I'm Dirk. Yes, and hi. Yes. How are you? So we are pastors of Living Grace Church. And, you know, this video is a bit of a plug for a conference that is coming up in January. 22nd to 24th of January. So just, just before Australia Day, that weekend. Yeah. Yep. I think it's even long weekend, but we go from Friday to Sunday. Living Grace Church is combining with Toowoomba City Church, putting on that conference. You know, um, the whole city can come, people can come. I think we can accommodate up to 360 people. Oh, good. So, yes. Yeah. And, and that's if, with current COVID safe yeah, practices. Yeah, so if yeah. restrictions ease even more, you know, even more people can fit. It's quite Now exciting. that the borders are open, even New South Wales can come and yeah. join us. If this is going far and wide, and let everyone know. We've got special guest speakers coming yeah. from New South Wales, from Sydney. Now who's coming? Drum roll. Drum roll. The Evangelical Sisters of Mary. Now who are they? So it's a movement that started in Germany after the Second World War. And so they're Protestant sisters, so, um, so you know, they're not married and whatever, they live in community, but they, they have an amazing journey of serving God and finding communion with Him and each other, and it's been a great blessing, and I think all over the world now. Actually, uh, as far as I remember, I read their story once about how it started, and it was under the... Uh, the terrible thing of the Second World War, the rubble and everything else, and yeah, the yeah. politics of it all. Yeah, yeah. And they started a ministry of reconciliation, of bringing peace back, oh, yeah. and all this kind of stuff that um, went around the world. Yes. But the, the, the thing is that they live by faith, and there's a very important um, filling in on God, because it's almost like you can't be that blessing to others unless you're being filled yeah. by God to be that blessing. So, so yeah. yeah, so... Known them for yeah. a number of years, both of us, and Sister Elpida is speaking, yeah. and I, I don't know who else. There may be about three coming. But, you know, part of their history, and really the theme of the conference, is we want to explore what, what the Bible talks about, this love relationship that we have with Jesus. You know, Him being the bridegroom, and we are being the bride. And, you know, it's a bit hard to get our head around it, and like we would uncover things at the conference. But what we want is to fill up, be encouraged, be renewed in our love for God and be renewed in experiencing his love for us. That and might so, actually be something new for some people because, look, I've got to say it's, it's still new for me because if you give me a list of things to do, yeah. I'm happy with that. Yeah. If you're talking about, you know, God wants to, you know, um, power, uh, power or whatever. spirit, but, let's do things. Yeah, but even, yeah. even in terms of the fact that, you know, I'm growing up where basically it was like, if you kind of believe the right things, got a tick in the right boxes, then you're part of it all. But what you're talking about, bridegroom stuff, that's a, that's hard stuff. That's, yeah, that's romance hard. stuff. Yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's not hidden knowledge. And there's even emotions involved. Exactly. Like there's yeah. love involved. And so. I, I'm, you know, I've been, I'm studying it and I'm fascinated by it. Uh, there's so many testimonies, but usually the testimonies of people that actually got into the experience of that, like there's a book in the Bible, Song of Solomon, oh. it's talking about this love yeah. relationship between a king yeah. and, and like, the people that come into the experience of their relationship with, with God like that, they're the mature people. They have been Christian for many years. So there's something about a journey of maturity, maybe surrendering everything to God, getting to know God better. Then suddenly you enter into a love relationship that you've never known. I have just, um, in preparation for another message on that theme, yeah. read about some of the early revivalists. Yes, yeah, yeah. And... Every single one of them had an, a close encounter, an experience yeah, with yeah, God yeah, yeah. that changed their heart. I mean, it really yeah. was an emotional yeah. uh, uh, filling in of yeah. God. Yeah. And they then became these big names in, yeah. in the revival scene. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sort of thinking that, you know, if, if you want to have a life of impact, yeah. if you want to have a life of meaning, it has to actually come from that that relational yeah, uh, yeah. part of, of our, yeah. our faith, not yeah. just the intellectual part yeah. of our faith. Well, when you're in love, you do anything for the person that you love. It, it's not even hard. You sacrifice. You know, love is strength, it's motivation, it's joy. It's just, you know, I, I, uh, stories of Charles Finney and Hudson Taylor and Heidi Baker... And, and, and lots lots of other guys like 
sometimes people dismiss these people like, oh, that, those are the mystics. You know, they talk about Romans and love with God and you know, they're not good for anything. But really, I found the people that had the revelation of this intense love relationship with God, they were doing the most in the kingdom of God. So you know, love is the foundation and yeah. motivation for anything. Do you know, um, there's a passage in the Bible uh, talking about the bridegroom yes. and uh, kind of concept, right? So th this one is in, in Matthew 24, if I correctly remember it. And he's uh, telling a story about or a parable to what is the kingdom of God like? And he has this thing about a banquet feast. Yes. And he gets the message out to everyone, come. Yes. Everyone's got an excuse why yeah, they yeah, can't, yeah, right? Yeah. And so the interesting thing about all of that is that the invitation is going out. God yes, has got yes. something prepared. So like the conference, you can oh, come. Prepared. You come can on. come. You don't, can don't put an excuse there. Yeah, like, like, you know, it, this is a banquet feast. Yes. And in a way, truth be known, I mean, we put on the conference also for us ourselves because we are yeah. hungry. And, and like, you know, the conference, if we go back to that, there are five sessions starting Friday night, Saturday morning, Sunday night, uh, Saturday night and you know, there's, there's a good length of worship, but there's also after each session, there's ministry time, prayer with the laying on of hands, where things can be prayed about and we can encounter God. It's real infilling. In real, God's presence. real infilling. You know, 2020 has been a challenging year. That's 2021. We've got to start with an infilling, falling in love with oh. Jesus again. Like, have a great time. That is a good conference. Yes. Come on. Come on. Look so the date to again, just um, so 20, we can... 22nd to 24th of January. And Location? You, if you go to the Toowoomba Churches website. Fantastic. Toowoombachurches.org.au, all the information is there. Excellent. Go there, have a look. Yeah. And we need to book in? Yeah. You register on the website as well. Fantastic. So it's all there. All right. See you at the conference. If not, see you in one of our chats. Okay. Bye for now. Bye.